y'all. I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I have a plan with me video. I am working in my faith planner, getting it set up for the week of October 19th, and I'm going to be using several different sets today. So I wanted to show you how you can kind of combine some different things you might have in your stash and use them in your layout. So I have paper from Kelly Bangs from her God of All Seasons Fall line. I have some Beloved Society Girls from various different um, sets that were released. I have Kelly Bangs' new set that is releasing today. It is called God Names, and you can see it is a ton of just super cute um, names that God is referred to in the Bible and you it's just so cute and retro and I love the fall color so I have that and then I actually have some leftover stickers from Big Story which was an illustrated faith devotional kit this summer so I'm going to use all of these sets to decorate my faith planner get it all set up for the week and I will make sure to list everything down below let's go the first thing I'm going to do is take the pages out of the planner and move them over. I love to do this on the weekend before the week gets started and I don't get to it every weekend, but it is nice when I get to it. It's very relaxing to get all set up and then it just makes me happy in the mornings when I sit down for my quiet time to open up and see the beautiful page. I also like to coordinate the pages in my prayer journal. Um, I just use a blank happy notes for my prayer journal and um, I decorate that a lot of the time to kind of coordinate so that the whole week kind of fits together. I like to keep these spreads really simple, just fun and easy to uh, put together. You can see I'm just tearing the paper. Paper tearing is one of my new favorite things to do all of the time. I just love the texture. Um, I rarely cut straight anyway. You'll see I do pull out my paper cutter in a little bit, but I don't usually like to pull it out. So I just go with the tearing. I like the kind of organic feel it gives. And then I do like layering these different patterns together. Now I don't print on full on cardstock. I print on a 32 pound paper. I will make sure to link it down below. And the reason I do that is because I do a lot of layering and I don't want it to get super bulky. I definitely add bulk to almost everything I work on just because of how I like to use my paper items, but I just don't want it to bulk up so much and be so heavy. I'm actually trying out a new brand of paper right now. It's the Hammer Mill brand, and it was recommended by Amber from Damask Love. And of course, she does a lot, a lot of printing with her own digital stationery company. So she recommended this paper, and I am liking it. It's really bright white. It's really smooth. I really like the 32-pound weight. Um, so, so far, so good on this paper. You can see the first thing I like to do is kind of fill in the side bar area and then um, continue that theme over onto the right side of the spread. I don't use the prompts on the sidebar um, when I'm doing my morning journaling, so it's um, fine for me to cover those up and bring a little bit more color into the page. I love that you can take these pages out and so I can easily just trim the sides um, and get that all nice and clean all around the edges. Next, you can see I do actually grab my paper cutter and I'm going to trim some of these pattern papers to kind of create a washi tape. A lot of times I cover up those horizontal bars that kind of run through this page if the colors don't match up with what I'm going with. And I'll use washi tape, but in this case, I really wanted to use as many of these pattern pages as possible. So I am going to just use these to kind of cover up. It's pretty easy to just add the adhesive once the adhesive is working, right? This one got a little bit stuck, so it needed to be fixed. Um, put the adhesive down, lay the paper down, and then trim it off on the side. Now, one of the pages that is that beautiful deep turquoise color. It was cut down from another project that I had been doing and so I didn't have a piece that was long enough to fit along um, this four box page. So you'll see I'll kind of have to adjust and work around that. I am able to slide it under the edge of the paper that is already there. Um, you can easily just put the washi tape on first but for me I really like to define that sidebar area as I'm getting started because it gives me a good jumping off point. 
So here you can see this one's a little bit short and I consider whether I just want to push it off to one side and I end up deciding to tear it in the middle. And the reason I did that is because I know I um, will most likely adhere something else that can cover up that little tear, but I wanted a clean edge on either side. And then my last piece is long enough to fit right over here. Again, just slipping it under the edge of that torn piece and um, I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just bending and cutting as close as I can. I try, like I said, not to make these complicated. This is just a fun process for me. Um, it's a great stress relief for me in the weekends. And so um, I try not to do anything too crazy or be too particular about how things look on the page. There are a lot of words in this new set from Kelly Bangs and I love them. So I'm just playing around and seeing which ones are kind of speaking to me in the season, which ones go um, color wise. All of these are names of God and names of Jesus that are used in the Bible. Um, and I love, love, love that. And I love Beloved Society Girls. So I usually have a bunch of these just printed out and hanging out in my printable um, tray that I have right where I film and I use Beloved Society Girls all the time and I actually am to the point where I want to print out some more sets. Back in the day I bought the um, 100 day sets so uh, Illustrated Faith released like a hundred different Beloved Society Girls but broken up into different sets to go along with a hundred day project and so I bought all of those and it was awesome and I love that I can reprint them all the time. They are just so beautiful and just really speak to me. I really really enjoy those. You can see that now that I have everything placed, I'll just start adhering. Normally I use a glue stick with these. Today I just um, grabbed my Tombow adhesive. I use a glue stick just because if I used Tombow on all my planner pages, I would run out of it super fast. Um, and it is definitely not always cheap to replenish. I always try to buy it on sale. Um, if you guys have any good tips about where to buy this adhesive, the refills for cheap, please let me know because I definitely um, could use it. I had some of the adhesive sticking um, out underneath where that piece of paper was. And I, what I do like about Tombow is if you just rub back and forth like you saw me doing, it just comes off the page. It doesn't usually um, leave a stickiness behind, which I really like because sometimes I get it in the wrong place. So you saw that the King of Kings covers up that little tear that I had, so no big deal. Um, added the words Deliverer, Provider, Alpha, and Omega, one of my very favorite um, ways to uh, describe God, Lord of Lords. And then Lion of Judah has been um, in my head a lot because the kit from By the Well for God this month, Glory for the Glory of God, has this gorgeous lion um, as one of the main elements in the kit, and it definitely makes me think of the Lion of Judah. You can see that I've realized that I left some of the colorful bars up at the top, so I'm um, cutting this paper a little bit thicker because there's actually kind of a double bar with that light pink, which light pink doesn't um, clash. I could have just left that, but I'll take the opportunity to add in even more of this gorgeous pattern paper. It's just beautiful for fall. These are really beautiful, rich fall colors, but they're also bright, which I like. And I love that these sets coordinate together so well. On my planner pages, especially my faith planner, I like to use things from my stash. I don't buy things very often specifically for my faith planner or any of my um, planners where I'm using printables. I just use the things that I've had. And so I like that when I can find sets that coordinate nicely and I can combine different elements. I'm looking around to see if I want to add any um, more names. I decide not to. I'm just going to save them to add to my prayer journal. But I do have these odds and ends spool tops from Big Story. And the colors really do coordinate nicely. And I'd like to try to use the end of the sheet. So I'm just kind of tucking them in with the girls, um, layering them up. The white ring around these stickers really makes them pop and they do add some more brightness to the page. I have a few extra that I'll continue to layer in different spots. 
Plus there's just something about finishing a sticker sheet. Am I right? Like it's like finishing a roll of washi. Finishing a sticker sheet feels like an accomplishment for sure. So um, it felt good to get all of these stickers in place. Some of them are hanging over the edge. So I just trim them off with scissors and then this layout is really done. I haven't talked about it in a while, but I am really enjoying my faith planner. It brings me a lot of joy in the morning. It's kind of um, revi revitalized my morning quiet time and how I study in the morning. So I am really enjoying it and I enjoy working on these pages during the weekend. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I've listed all the supplies I use down below and there's also a, a link to join my email newsletter that goes out every couple of weeks. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.